Imagine if you woke up one day and you was a vampire. You had the teeth, the looks, and the immortal life. Well, that is Maria Jose Castena, who's from Mexico. And people think she has some kind of powers, so they worship her. So what nonsense is this? Well, Maria is a lawyer. She was in an abusive relationship. Her husband never paid any bills and did unspeakable things to her. So one day, she reckoned... Okay, I'm lying. But one day, she reckoned she had enough. She got divorced and started working as a tattoo artist. Now, she reckoned she loved vampires since she was a child. So much so that she started tattooing herself as a way to be immortal. And now they call her the vampire woman. Eh, I don't think I can manage having a conversation with her. Look at her, it's sad. She can't speak English. Anyway, she got 49 modifications on herself. Fang, teeth, transdermal implants in the forehead, chest and arm mods, multiple piercings, eyebrows, nose, earlobes, belly buttons, you name it. She even got a split tongue and she got titanium horns in her head. Now wait now, I know we don't like her husband because of what he did, he's a cake, but I bet you her husband was Cisco and he was singing. And now see what happened. Anyway, people used to cross the street when she was walking towards them. But after they heard her story, they now stop to take blessings from her. She's a community activist, except, and she speaks out against domestic violence and abuse. But wait, it gets better. Maria has always been a lawyer, but now she has her own tattoo studio, her own clothing shop, and she works as a DJ. How many things this woman wants to do at one time, eh? I can't do one thing. Since her fame, she appeared in Ripley's Believe It or Not, and has the Guinness Book of World Records for the woman with the most modifications. And even though she got a statue of her at the Ripley's Museum. She's not doing all this for fame, like what most people will do. She spends most of the effort in using her platform to spread the message on domestic violence and encourage women around the world. Now, this is a lady that we can, not we, you can follow. Right now, I don't mean like follow as in go to Mexico and or go put horns in yourself and everything. As it is, some of you already got horns. It, imagine it. Okay, only we can see it, but you know who you are. Some, I said some, but I'm saying follow her on social media. Don't go fly to Mexico to start your own cult and, and go and preach and everything. Calm down. Just take some inspiration from Maria. She was in a relationship. It was going very, very bad. She decided to leave it. That's all. Everything else about the horns and piercings and all, just forget it. Because Maria, she did it for you. So you don't have to do it at all. You understand? My name is Roger Toscope. I hope you enjoyed this video here. Yeah? And go check out Maria uh, Jose. I can't remember her name. Uh, I'll, I'll put in the description. You can go follow her page and check what she does for a living and see how she's inspiring women. And women like this, we need more women like this in the world. Not to the horns, but I'm just saying, we need more women like this in the world. And now, anyway, go follow me as follow me as well. Go click on the bell icon there on top there. And follow me on Twitch. My name is Roger Toscope. I know I didn't uh, uh, stream lately because I had fire, I had uh, internet issues, etc. Anyway, my internet will be sorted out hopefully uh, later today. So I'll be streaming again like a G. Mira for y'all. I'm out. <laughs>